toast. I am back. Um, for those of you who don't know where I went, I went on a holiday. Uh, just around, just um, from I live in Sydney and I went to Adelaide on a on a holiday. So we went for a week and we came back just a few days. Oh, I'll talk about it later. Um, uh, but yeah, today, so we're back and we're back in our nation state, the Grand Duchy of Toastland. We're gonna be solving some problems. I'm gonna get our economy up to scratch. Oopsie daisies. Let's see what our peoples are. Leading causes of death are cancer. That's not good. Overview. Let's see how many. Our economy is worth 33.1 trillion dollars a year, which is the toast dollar. What's our population? 511 million people. Motorway service stations often have a higher population than hinterland villages. Otaguo. Oh, jeez. T is on the brink. Anyway, so yeah. Uh, let's start. Let's solve some issues in our thing. So anyway, I have been on holiday. It was quite fun. We, um... It was quite fun. We came back of like about seven. We came back on the seventh or the eighth. Of, I think the eighth. And yeah, it's been three days. And the past three days, we had to unpack, and then we had to take down all our Christmas decorations. So that's why I haven't had time to really upload. And today I wasn't. Yesterday I, I was just like flat out like tired. Uh, so I just you know. I just kind of just spent the whole day just watching TV. I know that's kind of a waste of a day. But yeah, today I went to my friend's birthday party. Well, not a party. We went to, like, have some burgers and we watched the new Puss in Boots movie. I need to talk about that. And yeah, I just came home and I, I'm making this video now. So, the holiday season is regarded as a wonderful time of the year when families can get together, share in good times, and give each other plenty of gifts. Of course, this hasn't gone unnoticed by the corporate sector. Month of events. This is ludicrous. Uh, I hear my wallet died then and all those. Let's not get too hasty. I think the government should stay out of this. Capitalist pigs continue to show a true. Less for me on display here is truly only see Maximus and other holidays. I think I'm gonna go with number five. It says to air the commercials during the holidays. So let's see what happened. Religiousness went up. Jeez, 53%. <laughs> Taxation went up. Yes. Tourism went up. Income income equality went up. Yes. Safety went up. Government size went up. Authorian. Oops. Pacifism went up. Lifespan went up. Employment went down. HDI went down. That's not good. Economic output went down, average income went down, but crime went down by 11%. I think the positives outweigh the negatives, not gonna lie. Yeah, but uh, farmers seeding discontent. <laughs> seeding, get it? I think everyone got that. Farmers throughout the country are threatening a nationwide strike because their domestic produce cannot compete with cheap foreign imports. Okay, we're, no, we're gonna protect the agricultural sector because that will bring income for us. We invest so much time and effort into our quantity and we end up throwing everything away. Half the price, I swear they taste like compost. We are the farmers. Agricultural subsidies. Economic analysts are the easier way to without just raise tariffs. Ah! Are you serious? I think if farm produce is cheap, that means they're doing better at their jobs. These ungrateful peasants want want government coddling. Okay, number three is horrible. Number two is the best because we get more money for ourselves, which can boost our economy. Number one is bad. So agriculture went up ten percent, income equality went up, retail went up, authoritarian tourism went up, safety went up, pacifism went up, lifespan went up. Drug use went down, food quality went down, average income went down, economic output went down, HDI's 
falling insanely. We must be at like 800 or something. Obesity went down. Mining went down. Automobile manufacturing economy. Economy went down. Taxation went down. Crime went down. Crime is going down. But crimes are really an issue in this game. Like, you can have the highest crime in the world, but that's always an impact. Um, double down on double time. Turning up on bright Monday morning, you are met with a mob of angry janitors, delivery drivers, security guards, and cleaners on track after legislation for increased weekend pay was defeated for the 16th time. What do you think that's an issue? What do you think they're striking for? Still half asleep. Their way just went into social hours. That's what's that? That's what you know what I'm saying, was. Having to fork out extra for the weekend would sink us. Me and the old gas is scrimp and safe. Okay. A big back on his wage laws. Nah, I can't somewhere nice. We never used to rush like out about like this when I was a young man. Nowadays, no one seems to have enough time for a cup of chat. Why don't we go back to the good old days when you had to work weekdays and everything closed at five? That'll give us plenty of time to know each other properly, like back when I was in the club. Okay, I think all the, none of these options are good. Number one means that small businesses will suffer. Number two means that workers will suffer. Number three means that no one but everyone suffers. I think I'm just going to go on number three. Because that will make... Actually, no. We want the economy to be better. Let's... What will do better for us? If more people have, okay, if people have more money, they'll spend more stuff. So the weekend workers will buy more stuff, right? But if small businesses are giving out more money, they'll have less money and small businesses will go under, which will create unemployment. So I think I might go with number two. Wealth gaps went up, jeez. Crime went up, retail went up, charmlessness, food quality, average income went up, disposable income went up, economic output went up, obesity went up, economy went up, HDI went up, <laughs> employment went up, mining went up, recreational drug use down, pacifism down, lifespan down, safety down, authoritarianism down, taxation down, tourism down, income equality down by 22.7%. Jeez, that is bad. That is horrible. But that's fine. Our economy needs to be good. Because here's the thing, right? Once we fix the economy and get it to, like, super, super good, then all the other problems we fix, we can look towards increasing freedom for the people and our economy will fall slightly. Because otherwise, if we in increase all the social rights for the other people... And now, our economy will be so bad, and it will be hard to recover without... Yeah, yeah. General officers in the Toast Landing Armed Forces are requesting the criminalization of stolen valor, the impersonation of decorated service members, often with the motive of financial gain. These traitorous cowards need to be prosecuted. It is the right of all citizens to express themselves in the way they choose. Why do we celebrate... And glorify by raising these conquistadors above everyone else. So number three is against war. Number one is against the people. Number two, I think, is pretty... I think I'm going to number two. Because honestly, that doesn't affect anything much. Oops. The nation's medal of honor can be found. Oh, no. Wealth gaps went up, economic freedom went up, crime went up, economy went up, that's good. Charmlessness went up, obesity went up, pacifism went up, disposable income went up, mining, all of this stuff. Employment went up, but patriotism went down, defense forces, jeez, went down. We need to get our defense back up. Actually, no, there's no attacking is there in this game. A capital city... For Toastland Special Edition. That's nice. 
As Toast Land continues to grow, so does to its government. The number of politicians needed to administer and legislate the country is rapidly surpassing the House of Parliament's capacity, with ministers often requiring periscopes to see the House Speaker. Some are just a new building be built in another city. I would like to make a humble recommendation for my proud jurisdiction. It would be an honor for our city to host the seat of power. Ha, ah, capital city indeed. What's wrong with being free as the wind? Do you really think one city could possibly say no to a national capital? I can accept and even approve of having a capital city, but we'd be putting all our eggs in one basket if we choose somewhere too vulnerable. Believe me, capitals always get the brunt of the enemy attack because of their political and economic importance. We should put aside a few billion toes tollers and build a capital city underground. Ooh. I've got an idea. My company will happily sponsor the new establishment as long as Nope. What's wrong with the old building? Anti establishmentarian. We don't need any kind of fancy capital city just to Make the big wig ministers feel important. There's no room, then fire politicians until there is room. I'm gonna go with number three. Wood chipping went up, mining went up, obesity went up, defense forces went up, government size went up, taxation went up. Whoa! Timber wood chipping went up 43,000%. Oh my gosh, bro. Average income went up, economic output went up, disposable income, patriotism, harmlessness, employment went down, health went down, jeez. Weather went down, how did weather go down? But the health, that's bad. But yes, we are done with the issues. Let's go back to Toastland. Where is our, oh, there it is. So, economy is strong, political freedom very good, civil rights below average. Um, our economy went up by 1.8 trillion. Average income went up by $4,000. Crime is low. We are ranked 162,000 in the world for largest timber wood chipping industry. We are top 5% in the car manufacturing. Maybe we should improve this. We need to keep up our automobile manufacturing. And pizza and cards. But well, anyway, that's it for today. Thank you ladies and gentlemen for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.